Hi good people all around the world, this is Nick from OVA Let's Plays. And one of my favorite Terraria YouTubers uh, is um, Game Raiders 101 I love his creativity and how he comes up with new ideas for videos and stuff. I have a lot of favorite Terraria YouTubers, he's just one of them, but when I saw him do the Tome of Greater Manipulation from Juice Mod, I knew I had to do it myself. Unfortunately, there's no way that I've been able to figure out how to buff it because it just does 10% uh, in, of an enemy's um, HP. So we're going to try it in the, in the boss rush today. Um, this channel is not for kids per Copa Law. It's not made for kids or intended for kids. Kids sometimes probably watch, but it's not intended for them per Copa Law. Um, so yeah, this is basically what you do with this is you can move around NPCs and stuff and you can move around uh, bosses and you can also destroy them uh, for 10% of their health. So here we're going to try Queen B of course first. There we go. Make Queen B move of course. Then we can destroy it just like that. I forgot to get rid of the Sunken Sea music box. Now here we go and move the brain of Cthulhu. But you know. And let's see if we can. We can't. This is fun. Oh man. This is also useful for moving your NPCs out of danger, like your town NPCs. Now I'm thinking of possibly seeing if it stacks with Omni Wield if you have like a bunch of these Tome of Greater Manipulations, if that is a way to super is to buff it maybe more. But they can destroy things so quick. Wow, it's got that blur effect. Here we go. Let's see if we can move the arms. Trying to get the, the drill. There we go. Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. Pew, pew. Let's see how far away we can move this arm. Move the head away from the arms. How? What? Is, what happens? Oh my god! This is funny. Do, 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 do. Bam! He's gone. All right. Let's see with the fist here. Man, the column is really fast. You move the body and the the fist follow. the fist now how how far can we move the fist away all right here we go turns out we can move the fist pretty far up oh, we destroyed the fist we can't move the head Trying to, it's it's so he moves so quick. It's tough. There we go. He needs to be damaged now. It's weird. Is it his fist? Did it glitch out or something? There we go. He's got two heads now. There we go. That's sorry. That took a while, guys. Of course, these guys are going to be... Got to turn on God mode or else I'm going to die. Go. The wall of flash will be interesting. Okay, here we go. Year of Worlds. Just like he did in the, in the video, you can lasso him around like he's a rope. And you can move the segments 
I can mess, mess with the segments too. Like, oh, no, your, your parts go over here. But then it, it goes back for some reason. It's weird. There we go, I got the head back. Okay. So, let's do the infinity symbol. Get the sneaky. Or the worm in this case. Alright. Mr. Interstellar Stomper. Yeah, it instantly snaps back into place no matter where you move it. I'm trying to get the head piece because the head will move the will move the whole body. There we go. Not always easy to do that. You just have them just spin in circles. There we go. Makes kind of a heart that way. And gone. up and left in dark. And he's gone. Now this one I'm looking forward to. Oh, I can move him backwards. The tables have turned, Wall of Flesh. The tables have turned. And they're all like, all the pieces, all three pieces are together. You can see the eye within the teeth. That's freaky. And he's gone. Okay, hive mind. Die for the YouTube gods. If you like this video, please subscribe. It really helps out a lot. Thank you guys. And of course, stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. You, you. you can't see me. Spend me right from baby right from Oh, he's doing the dab now. And he's gone. Ooh, another worm one? Yeah. I like the new redesign. They're, they're always working on new redesigns in Calamity Mod, like re sprites. I find it so tough to get that it's so quick. I'm just gonna stay still. And let the storm weaver come to me. Damn, it moves so fast. Ah, got you now. Got your nose. Got your nose. Where it stops, nobody knows. Here we go. Bam. So quick. There we go. Finally gotcha. Yeah, I really like this new redesign. The re sprites are good. They have really good sp sprite workers too. And of course the aquatic scourge. Where did it go? Did it glitch out on me? There we are. Worm ones are so fun to move around, but they're so tough to catch the, the head part. At least for me, they're tough to. Man, almost. Ah, I had it. I had it, and I let it go because I thought I didn't have it.
Thank God, I finally have a guy. Sorry it took me so long. Oh, he's dancing. He loves his own music. This boy, this one's gonna be. This is the most annoying calamity boss, in my opinion. It moves you around all the time, and you have to destroy. It doesn't matter how powerful you are, either. Like, you could have, like, really. Ex in rare exceptions, like, if you have any items that really home with a lot of projectiles, like, have a lot of homing projectiles, like, the illustrious knives, or any of the B weapons, especially, and they're powered up, then, then it works good. Another good one is um, if you have the uh, Apothesis X accessory from Apothesis and Friends mod, it does 707 damage and it instantly destroys Cecil's Void a lot of the times. It cuts through all that defense where it does just does 2 damage and it does 707. Because Cecil's Void has low health but really high defense, so you can cut, if you can cut through that defense using the uh, Apothesis accessories in. Man, so many dark energies in this one. Alright, you know what? I'm tired of being moved around. I'm gonna be stuck in this brick here. I'm gonna do that. You get freaking motion sickness if you can't move around like that. Yeah, 16 in mono is also another good composer that works, or good musician that works with Calamity Mod. I like a lot of his metal remixes and stuff. Liam DeCuro is also amazing. <coughs> they also have a lot of other collaborators. Oh, I can move the... That's really cool. Ha, ah, got your shield. Got your shield. Break the ice. Oh no. Oh, it's got a laser beam now. And it's got an eye. Before it, I never noticed that it had a cyclops eye before. <coughs> like Gollum. Some, a lot of the Calamity bosses are like souped up versions of other of previous vanilla bosses like the Ravager is like a souped up Gollum. Uh, Yarn is like a souped up uh, uh, Duke Fishron. Poltergast is like a, a crazy buffed up uh, Plantera. Of course Calamitous is like a like it's, I have Cthulhu super buffed up. Where are you going to go? Oh. I caught you now. Captain, you're on my hook now, dude. Fish run. Tables have turned. Fish food tonight? 
And this one is the most fun, I think, that I've seen the Game Raider 101 do. It's freaking Moon Lord. You can make him dance and stuff. Oh, he's into raves. He's into rave music. It's really funny if you want to make funny dance videos, you know, with the Moon Lord. If you want to have him dance to Despacito or Crab Rave or something. Oh, that'd be a good idea for... Uh, I, might just have, <laughs> I might end up doing that, like 15, 10 second videos of, the, of certain compilations of songs. Of course, you can do the same thing with just the hand. Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. Oh, God. I moved his head and his hand. Oh, God. This is Shakespeare now. Horatio. I knew him well. He's holding his own head. His own severed head, guys. Let the sink in. Oh, God. This is freaky. Spin me right round, me right round. Oh god, his, his arm was gone. This is disturbing. Okay. It's like if you ever had action figures as a kid and then you turn the arm too far. Man, it's freaky. Alright, well, let's see just the head. Detachable head. That's what it looks like if, you know, it'd be really crazy if they made an amalgamation of the pumpkin, of, of the pumpkin and the moon lord, and they just had the pumpkin's head on top of the moon lord's body like that, it'd be crazy. Like a Sleepy Hollow version for Halloween. Alright, so left hand. I wonder if I can get both hands at once. I bet I could. Probably not that difficult. Yeah. Oh. He's doing his. Oh god. I'm gonna wash my hair and sing. Okay. I love you, baby. I'm using water. the mic. The cold water. Poor boo. Our water heater's down right now. Till Monday. Till Monday. So, drastic measures. Check this out. Yeah, I've got this mod yeah. that you can move the like body parts oh. of, of NPCs around. Looks like a freaking moth now. It's like the Moon Lord moth. He is the moth man. Poor fool. Sometimes you don't know. You you don't appreciate things till they're gone like that. Like you, you appreciate you know just how great it is to be able to have a shower and stuff. You know. But we're gonna have it Monday, so. This is crazy. I think out of all of them, uh, it's being Shakespearean again. All right. Okie dokie. Time to end it. One last dance, one last. Oh, you can still move it when he's... Oh, that is freaky. That is freaky. If I move the head away and keep the head over here... Uh, that was freaky, guys. Alright, I had a lot of fun with that one. I, I knew that was going to be the most fun one. If they all come over here, I can move them all at once. I'm just going to hold both the mouse buttons down. Yeah, it's tough. Like, I, I had to go to a shave for work, and what I had to do was with cold water, it just doesn't work. Like, the shave foam and all that stuff builds up in the razor. And so I had to get, like, a mug and heat up, heat the water up in the microwave and use that to shave with this. It was crazy, guys. When the water heater's down, that's when you frown, I guess. No, um... But I think the Moon Lord is by far the most entertaining to move around, aside from the worm ones. Try to charge. Try to charge forward, I dare you. 
I dare you, Mr. B. Ah, you can't, can you? Goodbye. Um, but yeah, it's one of those things when it's down, like when they ever the internet or electricity or something. It's just the water heater broke. This one would be interesting too. But I think we've topped. I think the only one that could be as good is. Um, I don't know if I have a Apothesis mod installed, but I'll try the, the Lord next after the end of this, and maybe the Mutant too. But it's one of those things you don't know, like just how crazy that is until. Because it's been like a week. Which, the first couple days, you think I'll be okay, but the, like, four days in, you're like, oh god. And this is the, the next most annoying thing. If you don't beat the other two bigger slimes first, you have it repeats over and over. And if you have a summon enemy, it's so annoying. Where do you think you're going? Where do you think you're going, huh? Damn. Yeah, I, I feel bad for Michelle. It's it's cold. I've the water. It's winter time right now too, which is even worse. If it was summertime, it'd be bad. It'd be still tough, but not as tough. Let's try with the sepulcher here. Try to... Whoa, I can make the brimstone hearts glide. I grab more than one at once now. The other thing, the Apothesis X one works great on Sepulchre too. You don't even have to destroy the Brimstone Hearts. Is there are more Brimstone Hearts I'm just not aware of. Did I mess things up? God, don't tell me I messed things up. Okay, do I have, by chance, do I ha happen to have, let's see. I do not have it installed right now. Oh God. I do not have Apothesis mod installed. Uh, okay. So the, oh, there it is. There, uh, thank God for that, okay. Only does 61, I guess it's too high. 10% is too high for it. So this is gonna take forever with Supreme Calamitous. So I'm just gonna end it here for the boss rush, but I will turn on the Apothesis mod real quick and we will check out the Lord. And maybe the mutant. Forgot to turn that. Have that enabled. But so it doesn't seem. Maybe in death mode it would be a little bit better. But I think it captures. I guess after. After winding down Supreme Calamitous enough, because it does 10% of its health. So after winding down its health after a while, it'll do less and less damage. So maybe if I would have stuck with it, you know, for a while, it would have eventually gone down enough damage to where it does damage enough. But at any rate, oh god. All right, it just started the freaking all over again. So I'm gonna have to. Use the elixir of hypothesis. That's what I usually use as the quickest way to end the boss rush if you don't want. I think you might be able to use the terminus again to end it, but I don't know for sure. 
so the lord better turn on god mode even with god mode i don't know if i'll survive this lord is royal all right here we go i forgot about the music the music is so okay here we go Yeah, pretty much the same thing as... Now, I wonder if... Let's see if we can wear it down. Because it does 10% of its health, but it does too much. Like, if it does more damage over time, I bet. Okay, we'll try another weapon, just to wear it down a little bit here. Sort of the universe that should do. It's got a boatload of health. There we go. And we're talking. get this up to like or down more like rather down to like 50 or something what we killed it are we da doing damage too quick all right i guess i guess we'll that that did not turn out the way i was hoping um all right so the only thing left really is to get the doll and then you know fight the mutant that's about it, really. I'm gonna turn the music back on. Not only does the music like it, kind of like ear rape, but it's also um, I think copyrighted. One time I got a cut. It is the same thing for uh, Megalovania too. I was fighting Sand and I got a copyright thing for Megalovania, so I, I can't use Megalovania anymore. Usually, when you hear a video game soundtrack, you think you're fine, but even now, sometimes, it's it's still... Here we go. Evil. Oh, you can move items around too? Oh god. If that is true, if I can move items around, I wonder. Learn how to spell, fool. Okay. Um, put some boulders down. Alright, like so. Oh. Uh, now I can't move all the items around.
royal gold slime. So that's it for this video. Uh, oh, actually, one last thing. I know you guys like the Ida line worm too. So we'll try that. I'm probably saying that wrong. Now this head is really easy to get. It's not. It's, with a head that big, it's hard to miss. And it doesn't move for that all that quickly. It's another one where you probably have to wear it down a little bit because its health is so crazy. Either that or it has anti-cheat on it. I don't know. I can imagine. I I know very little about coding, but I can't imagine how intensive and how difficult it is to do coding for stuff for mods. Like I would love to get into. You know, making very simple mods and simple ideas for things that people haven't done yet. Like, I really want to have a super, super strong melee accessory that boosts knockback. I mean, knockback up to like a thousand percent to see what the highest possible knockback could be. To test the limits of the game. There are some accessories that increase knockback, like the um, Soul of the Universe, I think, and even the other. Uh, one But it only doubles the knockback which is still a lot um, But there's not one that increases it by like a thousand percent and then you could Use like 50 of those to like get it crazy where you could send something flying and then the accessory There was the force of will and that one used to um, Wear down the knockback resistance, but I think it does something else now um, I don't know if it's because I don't have thorium on here or what it is, but I think it was force of will Yeah, I think it was force of will that did it before Yeah, attacking an enemy will drastically reduce the immunity frame. So I could have sworn there was, I don't know if it was that exact one, but I could have sworn a long time ago I did one where it, where it wore down the, the uh, knockback immunity. But at any rate, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'm going to try one last one because this one should be funny a little bit. So I'm going to move the Dungeon Guardians around a little bit here. See, I can move it. Yay! Can't get to me. I'm not going to get to me. Right. And you can instantly kill the Dungeon Guardians with it too. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a good day. Bye everybody.